Hey, if you're enjoying the content here at Dennis Sperling Unfiltered, make sure you support it by like, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And also, hit that little notification bell in the corner so that you'll get notice of each and every one of our live feeds. What's up, fellas? I want to share with you guys a video that I picked up. And listen, I want to share with this video that I uh, picked up on the net. We happen to be talking about mate selection today, and this is definitely something that I want you guys to uh, take a look at. Now, generally speaking, we're talking about mate selection as to the social contract between black men and these lovely ladies out here. But uh, I just thought this was interesting. And I think it's something that we need to talk about. And, uh, you know, just generally, how this young man handled himself and dealing with this. So the backstory is this young woman who is his girlfriend, he's been dating for a year, wants to go to Atlanta for All Star Weekend, basically to meet her friends. What she doesn't know is that he follows her friends also. And he knows that all of her friends are in Atlanta. They've been basically posting photographs up, and videos of what they've been doing on their Instagram timelines. And so he's trying to, she's trying to sell them on the, she's initially trying to sell this man on the idea that uh, she's just going out there because her auntie is sick. Who hasn't heard that foolishness? There's always some sick relative involved in why she has to leave town because what that does is you then look like an animal trying to keep her away from being there comforting her sick family member or her, her or comforting her family in a time of need. And so this is one thing women do. They, they do this to try to, they can't just say, oh, I'm going down there to hang out with my friends because that's not sufficient. They got to say, oh, I'm going to hang out with a sick relative. Now this young woman, she is, uh, apparently East Coast, possibly of Afro-Latina. Afro so this is not something that's germane to the group of lovely ladies that we deal with. But just check the video out. We'll kick back. I'll be right back in a minute. It don't make no sense. So, you, why why you go, so, up, so why would, if, if she's sick, why, why would you be going to Atlanta? And why are you dressing up? It don't make no sense. Yes, I'm, fellas. Tell me, it don't make it don't make no sense. What doesn't make any sense? Now? Why are you going to Atlanta so late, huh? My aunt is sick. I, but that don't make no sense. It don't make no sense though. I understand she's sick. Why would you even want to be around her if she's sick? Look, Steph, if you don't believe me, like we've been together for a year now, so I it don't. You're not, so you're not believing what I'm I, I do trust you, but it don't make no sense. What, why are you dressed up right now? I'm trying to explain to you the same stuff. I'm you notice how she's questioning whether or not he trusts her as if that's something that should be granted um, just because they've been together for a year. You trust a person as far as their actions. And I promise you, this isn't the first time that she's tried this. This is a clearly, anytime a woman says something like, you don't trust me, that means she's dishonest. I mean, just straight up. If she has to question whether or not you trust her, she's clearly just a dishonest person. It, it, it is what it is. But notice that she's trying to shame him for calling into question her actions. Well, you you're, dressed, my aunt. Uh, you're, go you're going to see your aunt. It don't make no sense. You're going to Atlanta where all your friends is. I just I follow them. I follow them on Instagram. All your friends. Rebecca, <laughs> Ashley. Well, I didn't know they was there. So. I see. What do you mean you didn't know they was there? So you ain't been watching their story, huh? Them and all random people, random. So that was a lie. All these women know where their friends are. All your friends are in Atlanta, 
and you're saying you don't trust me. Oh, I didn't know they were in Atlanta and the friend and he's calling them out. He has names. Are you kidding me? This this is a this is a uh, an untrustworthy woman. I appreciate this young man keeping his cool and being calm and not cursing her out and calling her all kinds of names. But just go ahead and say, what do you think, fellas? Comment on how you think this gentleman's handled this. Dude sections. You huh? think I care about Random the All-Star Weekend? Like, what are you talking about? I didn't say nothing about All-Star Weekend. Oftentimes, huh? oftentimes when a person says, do you think I care about this, that, the other? That means they really do care about that. You think I care what my ex-boyfriend is doing? Yes, that means you care about it. They'll tell you. If you listen to people long enough, they'll tell you what's on their mind. You guys go ahead and get the likes up. You got one thumbs down, but whatever. That, that's just a hater. 43 people in the chat room, 35 likes. Get the likes up. Make sure you get your contributions up. That's, what you, that's, what you, that's where everything is. I ain't saying nothing about, about All-Star Weekend. I don't know where you're coming. Like, wait, why are you coming at me like that? So, I know where okay, so over. check this out. So if you're going... It, if you're going, about so check this out. Like, so, 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 so why, so, so, okay. So why are you having red bottoms, huh? I seen your bag. I seen it already. I seen it already. Why, why are you bringing red bottoms? Why are you going huh? through my stuff? But why would you be in red bottoms? Hmm? Explain why that. Why are you going through my stuff? Why would you bring red bottoms? Explain you that. No, I always bring them with me. You, you know always that. bring them, yes. but you're just going down there to see your, your, your aunt for one day, right? And so, coming right back. What if I have a photo shoot to do? I'm a model. A photo. What if I have a photo shoot? So she went from you're going down there to see your auntie to what if I had a photo shoot? So this is not even uh, I have a photo shoot. This is a what if. What that allows her to have is plausible deniability. So she can have something else. I, what, I'm a model. What is this? This chick, look at this forehead. This chick is not a model. This is a hand model, maybe. Maybe a foot model. This is a young Tatiana on her way to party at All Star Weekend in the name uh, and pray to the God of Hypergamy. This is what's going on here, but she's not woman enough to be straight up with this dude and say, "Look, I'm going down here to party with my friends. If you don't like it, I get it. I understand. If, if you you don't want to deal with this relationship, fine." And then he can make a choice. But instead, she's lying to him outright. Well, not even lying because she said, "What if I had a a." a a photo shoot. Not that I have a photo shoot. What if? So this is what this is what let's let's continue to watch this this human. Shoot. So now you're going now it's is changing you're, from a photo sick, shoot. Like, Wait, I'm I'm this sick. Is, this is it's getting sick and so 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 like, so, so it's going now from a, model, a, a photo I shoot. But you don't get, so this 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 ain't you would this one uh, you raise your antennas? So you don't trust me. No. Just it's, say if you don't trust me, just say no. I don't trust you. <laughs> no. Why? In your relationship, Why? you don't trust me? Because you're going to Atlanta on some last minute talking about your aunties. It don't make no well, sense to me. me I've been watching all these memes. Uh, the respectfully dude, he said, if your girl's going to Atlanta this week, don't be with her. So this oh. this guy right here is basically saying, you know, if your girl going to Atlanta, this is this is what the what what the internet is doing now. It's allowing men to compare notes. And we basically all that game that women were running back in the day when they could keep it concealed, they can't do it anymore. This is what makes this whole YouTube men talking to other men dangerous for women in the game they're trying to run. They're really going to have to up their level of game if they're going to continue forward with the dissension and the foolishness. But yeah, in essence, this is a girl's trip. She's going on a girl's trip. She was trying to hide it from her man. If she can go down there and get a better uh, a man, with, uh, uh, if she can exercise hypergamy, and get a man with a bigger wallet, she will. My advice to you fellas is, is, is from the beginning, tell your woman, there's not going to be any no gold. There's not going to be any girl trips. You go on a girl trip, I'm not going to tell you to stop. But when you come home, either I will have moved or the door locks will have been changed and you won't have a home to come back to because it's over. It just means you want to be free. Go be free. Get on back out there in the environment. Enjoy yourself. There's plenty of men out there for you to meet and exchange. It didn't work. It's not a problem. I'm okay. Again, you never want to get so close to somebody that you can't live without them. You need God and that's it. Everybody else is expendable. You came into this world by yourself. So I commend this man on him not losing his temper. And he is trying to, you know, kind of cross-examine her and get her down to a story. I get that. But for the most part, she's already got her mind made up. She's got her bags packed. She got her Tatiana clothes on. She's got her her, her airport uh, airplane gear on. Look at it. Look how she got the hair pinned back and the ponytail. Oh man, this is she's she's set to go.
Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh my god. This this ain't adding up. Two see, plus two ain't equal in four. Social media is doing to you. That's what that's all social, social media. media. Social media. It's common sense too. Because you got your red box in there. You said you might I'm do a trying, video I'm shoot. Trying, but I'm you're trying. going down there to see your aunt and then now you might do a video shoot. I'm just saying they a uh, photo shoot might come up. All right, man. Know, it's, 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 just just go. Yeah, yeah, you 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 put it. Go, go. A photo shoot might come up. I'm going you're going to let's get this live straight. You're going down there to see your sick aunt, quote unquote, but a photo shoot might pop up, but you're only going for one day. So you're going to, how are we going to work this? This, this is clearly, this young woman is clearly not very, uh, she's not the swiftest kitty in the neighborhood. She just really didn't think that she was going to get caught. She thought she was going to be able to get away with it. And this guy busted. He has the inside information, but for the most part, fellas, the only thing this young man didn't do right, he didn't establish the boundaries from the get start. He didn't establish, you go on a girl's trip, that's going to be the last time you are with me. I would, you better, it's better just to, I don't care how much you think you love this woman. If she's doing that kind of disrespect, this, this relationship is headed to a brick wall, period. It's going to end badly. Just end it. Don't even deal with it. She's, and she's from Atlanta too. Oh, come on. Anyway, let's uh, let's see what else. Let's see how this young man ends this conversation. This comedy Go for the streets and just get out. Go. Get out. I'm not stupid. Boy. I'm not stupid. And don't come back. Yes, no, nope. no. Nope. He's telling he's telling her not to come back. And she tell Yes, I'm coming back. Look, man, let me tell you, the minute she walks out that door, I'm calling a locksmith to change the locks. I'm letting the, the, the neighbors know the landlord of this an apartment. She's no longer welcome here. She's trespassing. And I'm sending her a text message and I'm blocking. Her. Don't come back. Period. It's over. Do not come back. It's over. We, we're done. Like, and then the next thing I'm doing, I'm going to go about my business and probably get back out in the field. You see what I'm saying? I'm not blocking her on the internet, or anything like that, unless it becomes disruptive. But I appreciate the way this young man handled himself. And this is how all you young men should. Now, again, uh, it lasted three minutes. I'm glad he got evidence just in case she got violent or something like that, because oftentimes when women don't get their way, they get violent. They start cursing. So he has a, a visual record of what happened. Yeah. Peace. I'm peace. Think I'm boo boo the fool. I must got boo boo the fool written on my forehead. <laughs> and then look, she left her bags on the floor. So, you know, fellas, this is this is the this is what you young fellas have to choose for out here. And I understand why you're packing your passports up. If, if, if these are the type of women you have to deal with, nobody should complain about what you guys are doing when you say I'm leaving. Now, here's another video I'd like to share with you. Uh, my man, let me see. Who, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, just change the locks. That's what Deacon Dave said. Damn, she's such a whole. She has such she was such a horrible character. Yeah, this is what, what is she early 20s? Want to get out there, go hang out with her friends and thought it up. She shouldn't be in a relationship. That's what I'm telling you. Women like that, they want to mess around until they're 27, 28 years old. Nobody else wants them after they've had this penis and that penis and and, 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 and gave a blowjob to this guy and that guy. And then they want to come back to you to save them. This guy was clearly letting this woman live with him, putting her up, buying her nice stuff, I'm assuming. And, um, you know, it, it's just a bad situation. But the bottom line is, fellas, at least he didn't he handle himself like a man, like a gentleman. He, he didn't curse her out. He didn't rate her. And he can send her on her way. Cool for him. Um, let's see what else we have here. I got another video here I want to share with you guys. This is another one I caught. This is an interesting quagmire. And some of you guys have been stuck in this situation before, I'm sure. So let's take a look at this next video, which promises to be interesting. I haven't pre-proofed this one, but let's check it out. Stop. Not, don't, 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 don't run up on me, dude. Let me leave your house. Stop. You're holding me hostage, and I'm trying oh to leave. Oh, my God. I'm finna get a restraining order on you in a minute. Let me leave. Look, look, y'all. This is my hand. I'm trying to leave. She told me to come get the shit out of bought her for her birthday. Now, the context for this one is this young man has come over here to pick up his stuff. She's basically broken up. Come get your stuff. Now, this that's the first mistake. What you do is you send an Uber driver over there. 
to pick up your stuff or send some delivery service over there, spend the $20, $30, pick up your stuff and have it brought back to your house. That way you don't have any contact with this woman. Don't, you don't go, don't send a relative, send an independent person to go pick it up because this is what's gonna end up happening. Now the realization has come that, you know, this guy's really leaving, my meal ticket is leaving and I may not have a dude set up better than him. So what am I gonna do? Now I'm stuck. Now she's trying to what? Basically have her way. This is this is the spoiled, rotten nature of many of these young women these days. But let's go ahead and keep looking. She didn't want it. I'm trying to leave. And this bitch won't let me leave. Now he probably shouldn't refer to as 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 a B-I-T-C-H. Again, you don't want to sink to that level. I understand his perspective. And you know, whatever you think about her. Don't even sink to that level, fellas. Again, he, this first snake was going over there. First, your first mistake was leaving your crap over there in the first place. Don't do that. Whatever you, whatever you bring in, you leave with. But nevertheless, let's continue forward. No, oh, oh, don't touch me. This is this is for my safety. I'm dead ass right now. Oh my god. On the boss, I'm dead. This is for my safety. I don't care how dead serious. Let me leave. I'm just no. trying to leave, man. I'm trying to leave your property. I don't want any problems. I just want to leave. Look, look at this. I mean, look at the tattoos here. This this visual screams uh, problems for me. This screams issues for me. Just look look at the arms tattoos and the leg tattoos. She, you know, I, I don't have anything bad to say about this young woman, but uh, clearly she's uh, interesting. We'll say it like that. But let's continue forward. You came back, you know what you was Can doing. I leave? I came back to get my stuff. No, and then, uh, that shit is gonna be crazy. You sick you're me. not crazy. No, you're sick. Let me leave. This is for myself. Yeah, tattoos I are a big red flag. No, cause you done in my life. You already crowd whooped out, put my hands on. And no, all I, I did not. was, all I did was trip. It don't matter. All I did it was trip you. I tripped you. It don't matter. How Why did I put my hand? This was my safety. No. You keeping me in your crib when I'm trying to leave. So when I leave again or I trip you again. Bitch, you leave every fucking Now look at that. She just said, B-I-T-C-H. You this is how this woman talks to this man. Okay. All right. This is that's the mask. And it flowed off her tongue so easy. It lets me know it's not the first time she's done that. She said that without malice. That's and so this is the type of these are the type of women you got. These are the type of lovely ladies that you young brothers have to deal with have been taught is acceptable for you to tolerate. Uh, and that's a problem. But let's continue. Okay, okay let me leave because I'm going to trip your ass again. And this camera going to show proof that I didn't put no, my hands not, on you. Get out the way. I want to go home. Okay, turn you can't hold on. me hostage. No, this is this is for the police. I don't even fuck with Twitter, but this for them. Okay, this for them. This for my safety. Police ain't even got to come to my crib. No, I'm going to go find a restraining order on you. Go ahead. You want me to go with you? No, <laughs> bitches, you crazy. Get out care. the way. Now, both of them are calling. He's calling her the B-I-T-C-A work. She's calling him the B-I-T-C-H work. They have a very troubled. This is already a toxic relationship. You don't sink to that level as a man because when you sink there, then you just invite trouble. But that's something that we can deal with. But the bottom line is this is this is a this is a time bomb situation waiting to happen. You can already tell that they have a toxic relationship. Let's continue for no you won't move. Get out the way. W. Hawkins says, I hate to say it, but he deserves her. He is on her level. No, he's not on her level. Oh my God. Look at this. Now look at this foolishness. This now this, this is this is this is what I want you guys to see. Look at that. Look what he's pulled out. This is toxic beyond belief. By contrast, you saw what the other young man did. And, and look at this. This is this is normal to some people. This is horrible. Cause now I feel threatened. You holding me hostage. You now you are kidnapping me. Get out the way. You let me kidnap you. And I have the rights because I'm all this is in the house. This is totally it's wrong. Right it's, it's registered in my name. But it's not registered. 
This is totally wrong. This type of foolishness right here, see this? This is toxic. And this is not the first time that they have had dealt with this. So and I'm in the house. Yeah. And you kidnapped me. You're kidnapping me. Bitch, I am not kidnapping. You're kidnapping. You are kidnapping me. That's when we were together. We're not together no way. You told me to come get my things. Oh my now you're kidnapping God. me. Get the fuck out the way. So I'm blocking the screen because I don't want this foolish. I'm not gonna promote this foolishness. But he's basically this is 25 years to life for this young man. Flashing a, a, a weapon. This is crazy. This the most toxic shit ever. Get out the work. It is toxic. She's toxic and Look he's toxic. You. You're sitting here, you're scratching. It's, li head. it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, you want to play. Get the fuck out the way. This because you started it at 1 o'clock this morning. Okay, so we go to bed. Now, see, this is the sort of toxic foolishness mm -hmm. that I'm talking about. This is crazy. You see what I mean? This is what you brothers have to choose from. They like this. They've been taught this. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. This is horrible. Now, the subject of today is mate selection. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the lines early. and We can talk about this foolishness. Now, whether or not the first video, whether they were playing or not, whether the second video, whether they were playing or not, this is an example. That's even toxic to even play like that, fellas. And somebody clearly, right, Somebody clearly needs to have a conversation with you, young man, on how you need to deal with certain things. Now, again, fellas, that I don't condone any of this foolishness, but this is why we're here talking about the social contract between black men and black women and make selection requirements. We can go deep, deep as you want to uh, on this subject. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and open up the line so just so we can get this thing started. We're already 30 minutes in. If you appreciate the conversation, man, go ahead and click in. Um, my man Amazi said he's a, a millennial dude. My generation act like this. I can believe you, bro. I mean, but that's because it's not his fault. They haven't had conversation with men. First of all, you, you just don't do it. The first young man, he handled it in a very good way. The second young man in negotiating with his woman and dealing with her, that was not handled in a very good way, period. That was handled in a horrible way. And I don't condone any of that. That is a that is a felony. That is, uh, you can go straight to jail for that. Even the video, even the video surfacing like that is foolishness. But uh oh. what's up, last thing, how you doing when you're oh, ready? Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you look like me about 10 years ago, man. What's happening, bro? <laughs> oh, man, I'm still trying to I'm still proud of you, Mr. Dennis. I'm so glad I um uh, Got to your channel too. I've just been learning a lot from. I've been uh, I've been buying a lot of books. Uh, okay. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Forty Laws of Dad. Just been learning. You broke up a little bit, but go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just saying that I've been uh, so I've been watching a lot. I've been uh, buying a lot of books and reading. That's Another cool. A real estate market next month. Cool, cool. Well, make sure you open your own company. I don't want you to be a real estate agent working for somebody else for the rest of your life. You get what you need, then become a broker, and then yeah. move forward. But, man, what do you think about... Okay, so we got two videos to compare, to compare right? Um, we got the first young lady. She basically going on a girl's trip and lying about it and going down <laughs> to All-Star Weekend, and she got busted by a man. Why do these women think they can get away with anything? With I mean, they put everything... They put their meals, where they're going, their location. You might as well just put a tracker on your ass. If, you know, if, if you lying to your man about where you're going. I like the way he handled that. What do you think about the way that first young man handled his woman going on an unauthorized girl's trip? I think he did a good job. You know, a lot of guys um, put beauty over everything. Right. Yeah. See, that's. I'm glad you brought that up. She was too cute. I can't leave her. <laughs> when you have a... When you have a uh, mindset where you think oh this is the last one i'm gonna be able to get oh my god i better try to let her do this and let he's been letting her do all this stuff the whole in the in the year they've been dating he's been letting her get away with so much stuff now she's taking it this far and that's why <laughs> yeah. i tell you young you right and that's why i tell you young brothers you got to have a zero tolerance policy and you got to be willing to 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 leave her alone and send her on her way 
it, you got to learn that it's perfectly acceptable to be by yourself. You see what I'm saying? Because you don't want to deal with that level of mistreatment or disrespect. Do you think that woman is is, is marriage material? Hell no. <laughs> no. No. What do you, I'm glad. Now, what do you think about? Uh, I mean, it was funny when I first saw it. Now, what about the second video? It was funny up to a certain point, but you could see the toxicity brewing, bubbling up. Hmm. What do you think about that? That's that second situation with the young man. Allegedly, he's trying to he's trying to get out get out his uh, this his girlfriend's house or whoever she was. What do you think about that situation? How, about how what could he have done different? I mean, it's so much. What do you think about that? Are you talking about the one with the uh, where he had the gun? Yeah, she just she should just called the police. <laughs> Honestly, but see, think about it. All those tattoos, the way she was speaking, the way that home was decorated. We'll call it a home. They both they both underworld type situation. He probably a low level curb server. She's probably a, a, a you know works at the nightclub, the, the after after hours nightclub. You see what I'm saying? So. They didn't want to get the police. They both probably got, you know, so, <laughs> yeah. you see what I'm saying? But see, that's the level of toxicity that I'm talking about. And see, you as a man, you got to be a leader in that situation. Because who's going to go to jail if the police show up? The one with the gun or the naked girl? <laughs> the guy, of course. Gun. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But I appreciate last saying, hold on a minute. We're going to get LP in there. LP, man, these are some crazy videos. You young brother got to deal with this level of foolishness. This is crazy. Uh, yes, a couple of times. Oh my God, man, this is crazy, man. It's crazy, I mean, bro. Like, I, um, my experience go ahead. about it. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. We here. Okay. So it, it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's craziness because I had to really realize, like, I've been single for like going on two and two years. And mm -hmm. I had to really self reflect on all the women that I dated and, and everything else. And they were toxic because it was something missing about me. Yeah. And a lot of us need to like look and examine what, okay, why do we always attract these crazy women? Number one. Why do we, we to, how about why do we tolerate these crazy women? At, not to, crazy. Why do we tolerate these toxic relationships once we're in them? Why? Why do we have this need for women like that, like, I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong, it's a natural to want to be with a woman, that's natural, but what I'm saying is, do we need them that bad that we're willing to tolerate a woman who's clearly not good for us and cause us to be incarcerated or even lead to death? You understand what I'm saying? I think I think it's because of our mothers were uh, toxic in a sense. But, but why specifically? That's what I'm, I, you're on the right track, right, but why, bro? I think, I Go ahead. I think it's because the mothers um, weren't uh, uh, weren't good examples of what a woman should be and what women what a, a a model of a woman and how to how to control a situation. We always right, let me let me let me give you an analogy. Let me give you an analogy. I want you to listen to stuff. All right. So uh, let's say you, you you cut out a piece of pie. This is you, right? You're a pie, right? Yeah. And uh, you were raised by a woman. She eats that same, that, that exact piece of pie that you cut out for her. That's yeah. her spot. Now, she's exited from your life. That was your mother. And you turn right back around and you deal with the same piece of pie. The same size piece of pie can fit right in there. Basically, what I'm saying is you are custom made to tolerate a woman like that because you dealt with a woman like that. So, because you've dealt with that, it doesn't mean that you like it or don't like it. It means that you know how you you know how to deal with it. You see, so it's not that you're attracted to those type of women, but you're familiar with it. So you know how to deal with it. Yep. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so what you got to do is you got to change yourself and recognize this is toxic. This is unhealthy. This is not going to lead to peace of mind and happiness. This is going to distract me from my purpose that God wants me to fulfill. And I need to leave this alone. You see what I'm saying? And it yeah. takes time to get to that point. It also takes good treatment and knowing what else is out there. Because for the most part in the United States, honestly, fellas, especially amongst these lovely ladies, that's about 90% of the women right there. 
what y'all dealing with? One mm -hmm. end to another. You got, you got. That's what you're dealing with. I mean, right down to the height <laughs> and the weight. But uh, you know, so what do you got? What are you young brothers to do? You see what I mean? That's that's the quagmire you're in. Malika, we'll be back to you in a minute, Alfie, and uh, then we're gonna go to Malika Triple Black and last, back to last thing. Malika, man, give me some, give these young brothers some grown man advice on both of those situations, because both, all of that was crazy. But go ahead. Uh, first, the first gentleman that was um, that caught his woman about to creep mm -hmm. out and do a thing. Yeah. Remember, we always talked about this. Eighteen to thirty. Do not let a woman move into your home. Ooh. Right. That was the biggest part. That was saying, say, right, why is she living with you? You together with each other for a year. You should just be dating. Mm -hmm. And another thing is, he was talking too much for me. He kept asking a question, asking a question. When you found out that she was going out, I'd be like, oh, okay, I'll see you later. I would have walked her to the door and said, uh -huh. you have a nice day. <laughs> and next thing you know, as she's going out, I'd be calling up the locksmith and having uh -huh. changed the locks. Uh -huh. So and you wouldn't have given her no heads up. You wouldn't have sent her a text message or anything like, "Here's you and all your friends down in Atlanta. This is I know why I, you're going down." You know what I would text her? You know what I text her? Have a good time. I hope you're having fun. Oh man, better have a thought together. Can I, can, can I tell you something, brother? Here's the yeah, thing: yeah. stop wasting energy. Right. The thing is, in both those situations, besides the besides the gun situation, mm -hmm. yeah, I've that was both, great. I've been in both of those situations where I I'm hoping it. that was a joke. I'm hoping that was some sort of uh, what do they call that when they they the prank or something like. I hope that wasn't real. Go ahead. I've been on both sides of that, mm -hmm. and in both of those situations, one thing you got to realize as a man, and you've been teaching us this, Dennis. You're better than that. Mm -hmm. You're way better than that. This situation, we were right, and we all hit it. You were attracted to her because she was attractive. She was cute. And she was somebody that you got drawn into. He got his wake up call. And he realized, oh, she can do it. But the problem is you have to realize, stop putting so much energy into her. And you got to put your energy into you. First of all, from the rip, you should not let her move in. First of all, why is she up in your crib? If you're together for a year, you should just be dating, enjoying each other's company. Mm -hmm. You should be focusing on what you need to be focusing on as a man. Right. I mean, that young lady looking even more in between and her early to mid 20s. And hopefully he's the same way. They had a nice apartment or a nice condo. And if that is his condo, why is she in there with you? Or if that is her condo, you got that together. Why are you together? You no, know, man, the, the quarantine, the COVID-19 has forced a lot of women to, to, <laughs> to reevaluate. Yeah. Can I say Many something? Of those women Many then of those ladies will have care. to live at home I don't with their care. grandmothers. And, go ahead. That's that's on them. I don't care. That's on them. Mm -hmm. You a man. We speaking from men that have purpose. You right. should have your stuff together. If mm -hmm. she ain't got her stuff together, okay, that's tough luck. We gonna get through this. If she can't get through this, then that's on her. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need to be building you and making sure you're right. Now, the last one, that's just ignorance upon ignorance in and of itself. Now the situation now coming from from an ex police officer when he first pulled the gun out of her that's aggravated assault. That's aggravated assault right there. That's it's right in Texas, there. That's like five years, if, especially if you got a felony already on your record. You and, see what I mean? And the funny and the thing is, he did he. The thing is also it's it's another charge. He get harassment by telecommunications because he's he's taping it with his phone. Yeah. Now, the thing is, if it was that deep, I would have went into the bathroom and I would have called the cops. Or at least I would have looked and see if there's a bathroom window and I would have I would have tried my best to get out the bathroom window. Wow. I don't care if he's all the way up on the fifth floor. I would have shimmied myself out and I would have gotten down. I would have gotten out. Mm -hmm. First of all, the biggest thing is what we have to understand is we all make mistakes. But here's the two things. Men, we should never put ourselves in situations and circumstances like that ever. If you know you're dealing with a volatile woman, like you said, the first signs of her acting something, you get up and you leave. You don't sit around. I don't care how good her stuff is. I don't care how pretty like the first one is. And she's all in your face and everything. And you hyped up because I got a good looking woman and she's good on my arm and everything. You're caught up. She realizes that you're a simp and you're caught up. 
That's she why realizes she you are a simp. Go yeah. ahead. She realizes you're a simp and you're caught up in her looks and you're caught up in her. Mm -hmm. And the first thing, in a year, you moved her into, you moved in together or she moved into your place. That's a problem. See, the thing um, is, man, you know, and I, I'm a, I want to, I want to get everybody in on their first round real quick, Malika. So, mm -hmm. but, but the thing is, this is why I tell you, young brothers, you need to travel. Mm -hmm. Because if you began to travel, you would realize quickly that those women aren't cute enough for you to risk your life. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. Being okay, they're they they're not even that fine. To me, I would rate both of the the one the last one on a scale of one to ten. She was probably about a four, and the one that I saw in the first video, I would rate her as maybe a five. You see what I'm saying? Now these women, these are women from Colombia right here. They come in all different shades, and I'm gonna show you now. Look. There's an old saying in Medellin, there are no ugly women, just poor ones. And what that refers to is most of these women that you see, either they're working, they working out and they haven't worked done, but the bottom line is they, they, they make themselves uh, as beautiful as possible. Uh, and so just let's look at that. I know I got a lot of flack from this video. People got mad at me for putting this up, but I don't give a damn. So let's go ahead and check this out. Just so you guys can see, this is a pool party down in Bogota. It's not mine. I just pulled it down. Yeah. Yeah. So I bring that up just to point out to you guys, if pretty is all you want, that's available. Don't risk your life, right? Don't put your life in jeopardy. Don't, don't try to keep a woman around who, who shouldn't be with you. Just because, just because you think she's cute, okay? That's what I'm trying to tell you. It, it, it it's kind of like you got an abundant sort of attitude. Like I can get rid of this and replace them tomorrow. When you develop that attitude, you won't tolerate a woman going down on the girl's trip, and 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 leave you be like, all right, baby, you can do it. But like I says, and that also comes with age for a lot of us. But experience also helps out. And when you start experiencing a lot more beautiful women around. And whatnot, then it won't be so that's a good woman. Now, as far as the other situation where you are you are attracted to women who are who you let me say you know how to deal with, you're accustomed to 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 these women because you've dealt with them in your family, that's something else that we have to deal with. But the easiest she's they ain't that cute to risk your freedom. But we're gonna get to uh triple black and then we're gonna go to last saint and then Deaky and then back to uh uh Al P. Man, Triple Black, man, what do you think about this foolishness, man? That's crazy, man. This dude yeah, is no, it's, it's, it's really crazy, and, and, and the thing about it is uh, this is a byproduct of the, the deeper conversation that Kevin, mm -hmm. Kevin Samuels has all the time mm -hmm. about the marketplace, you know? And, and most women nowadays are chasing, like, the, the top 10% of men. And usually one, one distinct thing about the top 10% uh, 10 of men, they will not deal with this foolishness. Oh so no! A lot of women are dealing with like the the ninety percent of the men, which a lot of times they feel like they're selling for. So, when when you feel like you're selling for something that you're above something, and you feel like you're and you feel like the uh, like overvalued, you tend mm -hmm. to act accordingly. You can't. You tend to act the tr the treatment like this. This woman right here, that the first lady that you were talking about, obviously yeah. she thought she can do better in Atlanta. You right. Know, obviously, yes. she was. She she thought, hey, you know what? I might be able. Basically, what Triple Back Black was saying is, she felt she was she could monkey branch from that guy. Now, the thing about monkey branching, the monkeys don't let go of one branch until they reach up and get a higher branch. So she her plan was to keep this dude around, go down there to Atlanta, see what she can pull up, maybe pull a baller, uh, you know, try to pull a baller out of you know, be one of the one women. That, that pulls one of those basketball players or some rich dude or somebody that was going to trick off some money on her. You see what I mean? More so than the dude that she's with. Basically hypergamy. She was going to monkey branch and try to get a better dude. She didn't want to break up with her dude, but I promise you that she found a better dude to seal that deal, she would have left him. So if you're dealing with a woman like that, man, you know, it, it, it's just, it's a hurtful feeling, but you got to go ahead and put her in the wind. But it, triple black. Are you still there, Triple Black? Yeah, yeah. You know, but the thing ahead. about it is fives are starting to feel this way. 
five, five of the whole bunch of kids are starting to feel this way. And that's yep. what the imbalance is. Is like they all feel that they can do whatever they want to do. They, yeah, because because the gonna take they feel like see, here's the this is that's how they feel, and they feel that way because they don't have any competition. They're not they're they're able to shame the vast majority. Of, what is it? Only two percent of uh, of black Americans have passports, irrespective of our thoughts that all these brothers are traveling overseas. It's really only a very small percentage of black Americans that have passports. For the most part, these lovely ladies have a lot on black men. They they know you're not going anywhere. And so they can pretty much do whatever they want to do to you and with you. And so because of that, they do. They don't really, they just don't have any respect for you or your wants or your needs, which brings us to the topic of today. Social contract between black men and black women make selection requirements. Make selection requirements. Black men must be tall, fit, high earning, in addition addition, the willingness to accept mistreatment and many other unrealistic expectations. Black men are to accept black women as they are, even if that includes obesity, outside children, post 30 years of age, combative, masculine, domineering, and perhaps emotionally and physically abusive and unfaithful, which is a new one. Okay? This is what we're expected to accept. Now, the funny thing is black women have always had attitudes. But pre-1960, at least they were slim, fit, and feminine. And 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 it's and uh and but on occasion they would wear wigs, but they wigs, but they did at least have their real head. Since 1990, black men have been forced to deal with obesity, uh, bad attitudes, lack of cooperation, but he's still expected to be slim, fit, wealthy, something just shy of Superman. You see what I'm saying? So the standards for us been increased and the standards for them have been decreased. So this is this is the social contract that I've been talking about over the past six days. They at least at a time they were at least were required to be fit, feminine, and cute, and slim, and all those other things as far as mates so like this is just the stuff you look at just on the birth. Now uh you're expected you're still held to the same contract requirements being Superman and they can be you know the 300 and something pound, uh, 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 you know, wildebeest coming out the water. This is the problem. But uh, we're going to go back to Last Saint, then we're going to go to Deaky, uh, Juan Dominican, then we're going to go back to LP and Malika. Last Saint, man, I mean, are you finding that you're still held to certain requirements, whereas these ladies, they can just, you just got to accept them how they are, three kids, by four different dudes. Uh, hunting way as much as you uh, <laughs> bad, bad attitude, bad outlook on life. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so I guess I can narrow it down. Um, I'm in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Why do we allow ourselves to be bound by those terms if they're not even holding up their end? Because you know, black men are so you can their uh, surroundings. You take that person out of that uh, area that they came from, you put them in a different area. You don't have more to reach. I live in um, Louisiana, and, you know, uh, a lot of the black men, you know, they say, like, the black women in uh, Louisiana are horrible because they have all these expectations. Mm -hmm. When they have any money, they live in poor neighborhoods. A lot of them are single mothers, by the way, in Baton Rouge, where I'm at. Oh yeah, I'm very sure. I'm I'm very, you know, I graduated from the Southern University Law Center in 2000, so I'm I'm well aware of the BR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm only, I'm only 21. You know, uh -huh. I'm only 21. I see this because you know a lot of the um, you know, you know how you got the uh, blue pill and the red pill, but you yeah. know a lot of the a lot of the men, you know, they rate they're raised up single mothers, raised up with single mothers, and you know they when they meet a girl. That's around the same age, you know. They try to give them their all and whatnot. And mm -hmm. the woman at the same age, you know, they're partying, partying. They um having uh, sexual relations with other guys, with other men who know who, are, who have status and have money. And they're they messing around. Money. They're messing around with the politicians and the mayors around and the, the law. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the college professors over there. You know, I already know. I already know. But go ahead. Right. So when those same blue pill guys, you know, be getting their 30s or their late 20s, hit their prime, 
you know, get those six figure jobs, those same women, you know, start the cycle again. They start coming back. But then that's when they get rejected. Because then those, those older guys want the younger women now. Right, right. I, I appreciate that. Dinky, man, welcome back. Uh, so what do you think about this whole situation with these these young men and, and, and having to deal with these these thought the honest taking girls trips and this other one he got to pull it. Well, he didn't have to, but he pulled the pistol. Out. That's just toxic. <laughs> man. You understand why brothers are saying I'm not dating anybody. I'm just going to chill. You understand why they're doing that? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, un I understand succinctly why guys go MGTOW or men go their own way. Right. You, tra you, you travel the world, you get a feminine, sweet, sexy woman that cooks with you with love. You have a fight, she grabs her brush, she gra grabs her comb, she hands it to you. She says, Poppy, comb my hair. See, here's the thing. I I I'm going to go a little deep here, Dennis. It's yeah. called... It's called makeup. It's called lipstick. It's called rouge. It's called, they put that on their face. It's not really them. They're only showing you uh, a, a false sense of who they are. As are, they're showing you what they want you to see. You, right. you, don't, you don't see Shaniqua, Alizé, Hennessy, or Grand Marnier showing you hell on earth. She's gonna be nice. Until Shaniqua, Alizé, or Hennessy comes out for real, real, and it's hell on earth. If she puts her hand on you, nah, B. Matter of fact, don't even take her to your home. It's an interview. Have you ever uh, bleached a brother's clothes? Have you ever cut up his clothes? Have you ever, you got to ask her, have you seen her drunk? What are her habits? Who is her man? Oh, baby, you look so good. I'll suck your daddy's D. Oh, baby, I'll drink your bath water. No, nah, B, why are you giving her a compliment? She's not worthy, brother. Is it the exterior? Come on, guys. You can't right. go to jail. I'm I appreciate sorry, I'm here. That. I appreciate that. We got, you, you are preaching a sermon right now, man. Uh, we're going to go to Juan Dominican. He's down there in the DR, man. What are your thoughts on this, this whole subject? Like, you understand why... I tell these young brothers to travel so that they can then realize what their true worth is, their true value is. You wouldn't deal with that foolishness if you knew what your true value was. You just wouldn't deal with it. You'd be like, oh, uh, -uh. the first time they, the first time that, see that to, to most of you guys who are looking, the first girl, she was cute. The one with the red bottoms going on the girl's trip. To you guys, she was cute. She was like, man, she's pretty. That's probably one of the prettiest. Based on what's out there now, she's probably one of the prettiest women that you guys have seen. But in my mind, she may be like a four and a half or five because I've seen better. She that that's just basic, cute. That's not even gorgeous or or beautiful. What are your thoughts? On, you, you understand now, Juan uh, Dominican, why I say brothers should travel more because the social contracts have been breached and the mate selection requirement. Excuse. Me. What are your thoughts on this? Exactly. You know, I'm usually one ATL when I check in with you. I have one Atlanta, but I'm going to be down here in Porta Plata for the next month. I'm building and it's all because of uh, the culture, what the women are taught, how to treat the men. And uh, once I come here and see the melanated women here and the culture, it's uh, it's it's like day and night going back home. So my I, my um, message to everyone is, if she's not following your rules, then the believer can't deal with a woman like that entirely. So you need to get your stuff in order so you can call the shots. So it, so it's a, a, a situation where she has to follow all your rules, period. And the more you that. travel, the more you travel, fellas, the more you'll see how the other women around the world are raised to treat men. I'm here now yeah. live in Port of Plata. Shots out. Dominican Republic. Uh -huh. Thank you, Juan ATL slash Juan Dominican. We're going to go back to Al P and Malika. I want to give a shout out to Volcanus. Thank you so much for the contribution, the Cash App contribution, I mean, the PayPal contribution. I want to give a shout out to, let's see who else, Jason Webb. Thank you so much. Uh, Rip Cornell said exactly what I said in my original post, Malika. He was doing way too much, talking too emotional. Thank you. I'm a Z. Look, uh, you guys, man. The social contract has been breached. There are literally little to no requirements imposed on these lovely ladies.
but you are damn near required to be Superman, and you got to deal with the type of foolishness and the toxicity that's out there. You see what I'm saying? So, Al P, man, uh, before we get on to you, look, you guys, if you appreciate what we're doing here, contribute to the Super Chat. We're an hour into this thing. If you want to keep it going, then we're going to have to contribute. Matter of fact, I'm going to run some commercials, man, because we need to remind the the, the the good brothers here that this is uh, this is this is pay as you play, pay as you go, contribute and con contribute because that's the way you let me know you appreciate what we're doing. Hey, what's up, everybody? If you appreciate the format and you appreciate what we're doing here, then make sure you contribute to the Cash App. Make sure you contribute to the PayPal. Make sure you donate to the Super Chat. It's only you and your contributions that keep this thing going. Thanks. All right, Al P, what's your advice to these young brothers if they find themselves in a toxic relationship like that? Uh, my advice is to really, uh, really vet these women. Oh, how, excuse, excuse for the uh, the background. I'm in Santiago, you know, like in Santiago, and it's just loud. We got we got two brothers in the DR right now. But go ahead, man. What do you go ahead? But yeah, really. Uh, Bet these women uh, really not don't think on your, the 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 head down down there. Think of the head uh, up, up top of your head because I mean, but some of them they don't even know what to look for, man. They don't even know what normal is. They think all they need is a cute woman that's fit. They think they won. They don't even know how they should be treated. Like how do and we we're talking about mate selection. What should these young black men especially be looking for? What should they be looking for based on your experience? I, from my experience, they should be looking for um, honesty. They they need to be looking for uh, if she's mentally stable. She's very, she's a patient type of woman. That's mm -hmm. and and she's loyal. Like mm -hmm. like really not say test her out, but like a like make sure like make pay attention to her behavior. You know how she treats you, how she carry yourself if she has she she's she's a clean woman right I mean, if she's uh, uh she knows how to cook you know you gotta ask you gotta ask these questions to these women and really like not even their not, not just their words but their actions like if they want to go oh well i can cook okay cool she invite her to to your house so she can be able to cook or invite her to house she can clean she, she need to demonstrate to you, to to a uh, to a man that she can do these examples on consistently, not just because she feels good and she, you know, I mean, no matter what, just it has to be consistent of proving to you that she's that that woman that she says she is. Mm -hmm. Not just speak all the words, basically. I appreciate that. Thank you, Malika. Man, here's the thing, man. The mate selection requirements are skewed in favor of women. What are you? What is your suggestion to these young men on like not getting caught up into that trap? You got to accept them. She, you, one hundred and eighty pounds. She, one hundred and ninety pounds. You don't have any kids. She got two kids. You don't have any tattoos. She got four tattoos. You, 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 you know, you working and, and taking care of yourself. She got government. Her ex baby daddy and her family taken care of. Why is it that these brothers are so easily convinced that that's a catch for her for them? Just be, I mean, why is that? How do we get them out of that mindset to up their value in in, in themselves? Keep having um, panels and discussions like this, but also talk to the brothers, young brothers around us, and even older brothers. Like you just gave that um, description of. Men that got everything going for themselves. First of all, we need to tell them you've been conditioned. You've been conditioned to accept the mediocrity of the women in your society, where you're yeah. supposed to come in like Superman, have everything great, but you're supposed to accept them at their worst and like it. But I just like you, but just like how you said, I don't think these young men realize they can do better. Like I really think they think this is all that's out there. If they can get a woman who's five foot five, five six, 135, 140 pounds, she can have a horrible attitude, kids, no job, and they will really think they got a catch. They they will really think that they got to win. 
and, and I don't think we can convince them because it's almost like going to the grocery store and all they sell, the only fruit available are rotten apples. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, well, this is all the fruit that's here. And as opposed to going without that fruit, which they know is no good for them and might make them sick, might destroy their life, they just rather go ahead and get one of them rotten apples. Whereas people like me are telling them, hey, man, travel overseas because you got pineapples, coconuts, strawberries, grapes on the vine, raspberries. You got all that over there. But they refuse to go see what's available because there's so many people telling them, no, nah, you got to keep it real. You got to get you a, one of these lovely ladies, maintain the race, do it for the culture. You got other people telling them, oh, don't go over there. Those people are just, they just want you for your money. Don't go. What do they think these lovely ladies want for? That lovely lady clearly wanted that man because she was living with him during the goddamn quarantine. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and really now that she sees the opportunity to get a better deal, she's rolling out or, or trying to. You see what I'm saying, man? But uh, what do we tell them? Like, like, what do we tell them? Like, how do we, how do I keep, I'm telling them it's greater later. Just be patient. Make your money, travel the world. How do I go about convincing? Because I don't feel like I'm doing a good job. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. You are definitely doing a good job. Just look at every day. You do two shows, man. You do a good job. Well, you know, I feel like I'm talking. I feel like I'm that song that you heard so much. Now you don't even pay attention to me. You nah. just listen. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't even think that. You are yeah. helping us. Yeah. You are helping brothers. The thing yeah. is, it, but this is a perfect example with those two videos. You showed that you showed the ignorant brother and the ignorant shit. And then you showed the well-to-do couple. Right. It can happen on, you know, it can happen on both sides. Yeah. The thing is that um we gotta keep one thing we gotta keep telling the brothers that you're the prize. You are yeah. not less than. You got to realize you you have the winning hand. They're just telling you that you don't. Yeah. The thing is, you get the the, the, the thing is that we got to keep telling men. We got to keep telling men this. And the, the, the thing is, if you got a bunch of men that keep falling and bumping their head, okay, that's on them. And another thing you got to realize, not a lot of these brothers are going to make it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but that that's 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 life. But the ones that do make it and the ones like me who had to learn the hard way, but we're listening now and we're realizing that, OK, 10, 20 years ago, I, you know, I was lost in the sauce. But, you know, just like Saul, my road to Damascus moment, the, the scales have fallen from my eyes. Now I'm seeing it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can get to some of these brothers before they have their road to Damascus moment. Yeah. And and the thing is, we just have to keep telling brothers, you're better than this. Just because she looks good, just because she's got a nice rack, just because she got a big booty, and just because that good good might be great, great, that yeah. don't mean that's everything in the world. There are plenty of women out there. Man, there's four billion women on this planet. Why would you deal with a woman that you gotta pull a pistol out just to get her to move out the way? Why would you deal with a woman? who's so disrespectful of you and thinks so little of you that she would lie to your face and tell you that she's going to Atlanta on Labor, uh, on, uh, I'm sorry, on All Star uh, Weekend, Star weekend mm -hmm. her sick auntie. And then, but but she also might be going for a photo shoot because she's a model for her book. Why would you even deal with a woman that's that disrespectful to you? She didn't even have the sense enough to come up with a decent lie or decent alibi. She thinks little to nothing. When they don't even, I mean, that is that is disrespecting itself. The fact that she lied and she didn't even come up with a decent lie, just flat out disrespect. And you want to you want to maintain a relationship? You know how low that can go. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be emasculated as as, as, as as sophisticated and well as she sounds, she's already emasculating him. And if he tolerates this, it's just gonna get worse. It's just gonna go downhill from there. But uh, thanks, Malak. I appreciate that, man. Um, here's the thing, Triple Black, man. What are your? Uh, before we get started, look, you guys. The super chat and the cash app are available. They're scrolling along the bottom of the uh, PayPal and the cash app are there. Please contribute if you appreciate what we're doing. Triple Black, man, what's your advice to these young brothers? I mean, there's an abundance of women out there they can choose from. Why do they why do they settle for these women that could cost them their life, their fortune, their peace of mind and happiness? Maybe even send them to jail a little more. Why do they do that? 
I mean, it, it's a lot of a lot of times, you know, it's just uh, getting blinded by uh, the beauty, the titties, the ass, or, or something. It, it, that because the thing about it is, a lot of guys don't do this. The apple rarely does it. I mean, always like falls really close to the tree. If you uh-huh. like, for instance, like you know, Black China. If you look at her mom, her mom is uh, like a fifty-year-old thigh. And uh, if you look at her mom, and she's and her mom's a fifty-year-old thigh, chances are that what raised her is probably that is going to be a fifty. I mean, like a thigh too. So you know, simple things like that. You know, you can if she got tattoos all over her, 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 you know, her chest and, and face and all this stuff. It's just like you know what they're like, and, and I know it's really easy for a lot of men because the thing about it is a, 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 a woman. Will, will always convince you that she's not like everybody else. But you can open up your eyes and see what you, you see. You know what I'm saying? If the sky is blue, the sky is blue. Quit trying to turn holes into housewives. It, it, the, the red flags are usually there really early. But people, they get enamored by that ass. They get enamored by that pretty face. And they just don't pay attention to it. And now I'm yeah. saying that would be the first step. And, you know, if, you, if it walks like a duck, it looks like a duck, it's probably a duck. You know, you got to make a decision. All right. So I appreciate that. DKS, man, we're talking about make selection requirements. What should a black man in America be looking for in a mate? Like, not what he'll settle for, but give me height, weight, age, demeanor. Go ahead. What's your list? What should they be looking for? Uh, I guess we lost DK. But either way, you guys, look, I appreciate everybody chiming in today. Look, the, the social contract between black women and, and men, as far as the, the terms related to mate selection, they get everything they want, and we're supposed to settle for less. And I'm telling you that's not fair, and you don't have to settle for it. I'm telling you guys that it is greater later, if you just be patient, if you begin to stack your money, and travel around the world, you don't have to deal with it. But more importantly, don't just settle for a woman just because she's available. Just because she meets the bare requirements. She has hair on her head. She's not obese, kind of cute. That doesn't mean that you, you should just necessarily be with her. And you definitely doesn't mean you have to tolerate everything from her. It's okay to be by yourself. It's okay to build yourself up. The higher you elevate yourself, the better the women will be as you get along. The more resources you have, They'll be better looking. They'll be in better shape. They'll have better attitude. Because why? Because you can raise your standards. It's hard to raise your standards if you're a man in a homeless show. It's difficult to do that. But if you're a man who's sitting on top of a mountain, you got your straight, you can raise your, your standards. A lot of these brothers, even then, they still will accept less when they could demand more. Just, just because they're accustomed to that because those are the type of women that raised them. Those are the type of women that were around. The emasculating women, the toxic women that lied to the face. The women that they heard lying to other men on the phone while they were little kids in the other room. They heard that, so they tolerate it. Not because it's good for them, but because there's a place in their psyche to be able to deal with those women. And that's the toxicity we have to deal with, fellas. You don't have to tolerate that. You do not have to. That is not something that's successful. I don't care what these folks say. I don't care, you know, accept me how I am. That's BS. You don't accept people how they are, especially if they could cause you detriment and harm. That first video, yeah, it was something you can deal with. I appreciate the way the young man dealt with it. That second video was horrible. You see what I'm saying? Even if they were just playing, maybe I hope in a week or two we'll find out it was a plastic weapon. Uh, you know, he was just playing. He was doing it for likes and shares on the Internet. But, you know, either way, that's a horrible demonstration. Of how you feel. That's toxicity, which is going to get somebody in trouble. But uh, you know, appreciate you guys. If you appreciate what I'm doing here, make sure you cash out. It lets me know you appreciate what I'm doing. Other than that, you guys have a great day. Later on, this is and I'm out.